Hey guys, this is Raid from Evasion Gaming, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Remote Play on any Android device. Alright, so the first step you want to do is go into settings on your Android device and you're going to want to scroll down into where it says security, go into that, and you're going to want to find where it says unknown sources right here. Unknown sources allow installation of apps from unknown sources. So you're going to want to make that on and what that is going to allow you to do is to install the modded version of the Remote Play app. And the second thing you want to do is go to your Chrome browser on your Android device and I'm going to put a link in the description. You're going to want to go to that link and just press download. And when it says download, you're going to want to open that up and say install. Now, I've already installed it, so I'm just going to skip that step. So once you've installed the app, you want to go down to where it says remote play in all applications. And so this is how it's going to look on startup. Now, you're going to want to make sure your PS4 is on and ready and now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna go up into settings and you're gonna want to go to where it says remote play connection settings and press X and you're gonna go down to well if enabled remote play is not checked make sure that it's checked obviously and now you're gonna want to go down to add device and press X and now on your phone um, you're gonna want to press next as I've already done this uh, I'm going to go into settings and do it, but you guys are going to just go into the next and don't do anything. Just wait. Alright, here. So now what you want to do is you're going to press skip. And now, now as you can see, it's prompting you for an 8-digit number, which is up there. So you're just going to want to put that in. So mine would be 62603932. And you're going to want to press register. And as you can see, it is connecting. And as you can see, it is connected on my phone. And as you can see, I can control everything. I can go into my game. As you can see, I can do pretty much everything now from my Android device. And as you can see, as I'm doing it on my phone, it is happening on the PS4 as well. So that is the first step, how to connect your Android device to your PS4. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna show you how to connect your controller to the remote play. So, there is one way to do this by Bluetooth, by connecting your controller to, by Bluetooth to your phone, but that is so laggy and it's pretty much unplayable. So I'm not even gonna bother showing you that. So this is the way to actually get it to work. This is called an OTG cable. It, can, it converts micro USB to USB. So, um, on one end of the OTG cable, you want to connect it to your phone or any other Android device. And you're going to want to get your PS4 micro USB cable and plug that into the USB end of the OTG cable. And the other end goes into your PS4 controller. And now you're going to get a message on your phone, and it's going to say, Remote Play. Allow the app Remote Play to access the USB device, and obviously you're going to say, OK. And now, as you can see, if I use the controller, it's going to work with the Remote Play. And you don't have to turn it on, so it's going to have the orange light here. And so I'm going to go into game now. I'm going to be playing 2K16. And I'll show you guys how this works. So as you can see, everything works. And I am using this with the controller. So that is how to use PS4 Remote Play on any Android device. I hope you liked the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And comment if you have any issues, I'll be more than glad to help you out. See you in the next one.